I think tomorrow he will be considered. I think there, there, well, there's a good chance of him playing tomorrow. And he, he played very well in the warm-up match. And he's been good in the nets. So, obviously, we, we've got a good keeper in Kusal. But I, I think there might be a change tomorrow. So, hopefully, we'll see the best of Nereshan Dikwala. Um, no, no particular reason that I'm aware of. Um, he, he has made a few technical changes recently with his grip. And and maybe just a couple of mindset changes, and he's hitting the ball a lot harder than he used to, especially in white ball cricket. So I think the the selectors and a few others have seen that, and he seems a lot more confident within his own game. And obviously, he's one of the best keepers in the world. So um, that that speaks for itself. So, but hopefully, we we we're going to see some of the best of him tomorrow. Well, when they're in the middle, it looks like a combination of technical and mental. But I think mostly it's mental. When I see the guys playing in the nets, they look really good. They're playing with freedom. Um, but in the middle, it's different. There's pressure. And they're hitting a lot of the fielders. And it, it, look, it looks like the guys are freezing. Um, but we worked on a few things. We've spoken about it quite a bit. So hopefully we'll see a positive difference tomorrow. Well, yeah, Fidel, it, it looks like quite a big impact at this stage. Um, but but the young guys that were selected, they're good players. But obviously they lack a lot of experience. And when you look at Mushfiqa's experience, Tami Mikbal, um, some of their senior players, Mahidi, they, they've played a hell of a lot of cricket. And Mahidi's just gone to number two in the ranking. So he's a very good off-spinner. Um, but I think we've probably played him with um, too much respect. But regarding our senior players that have been left out, yeah, it, it, it's tough on them, but that's cricket. It, it evolves. And as you get older and maybe some of your performances have gone down a bit, um, then the selectors have gone for the young guys. They, they haven't played as well as they could have so far. But, um, you know... Sometimes it takes a while for guys to to get into the swing of things. And I think they've been overcome by the occasion so far. Um, so Some of them played better in the West Indies than they've shown here. But hopefully we, we'll see some better performances tomorrow. Yeah, well, th that's the way it looks like. But, you know, their pressure's at the top in the power play. You've got to take advantage of the power play. Um, the guys coming in in the middle order... They, you got to try score to run a ball and, and put the bad ball away and take advantage of when the ball's not doing as much. So they're different types of batting. And just because you haven't got many games under your belt or a lack of experience, that's that's one of those things. You can only get experience by playing. And and at the moment we, we haven't our seniors just happen to be at the top of order as opposed to the middle. That doesn't mean the door's shut for anyone that's been dropped. You know, if, if they come back strong and domestic or the selectors deem that they need to come back. But at the moment, um, these are the players that, that were picked and we've got to show confidence in them. Um, no, I think, I think uh, there, there might be one or two changes of personnel. I'm not sure, but yeah, England brings totally different challenges and, and very good bowlers especially in their home conditions. And Mickey chatted to the guys in the change room the other night after our defeat. And he he was very open and saying, if you guys think you've got a tough against Bangladesh, we've now got England coming up with the likes of Wood, Wokes, well, not Archer because he's injured, thankfully. And then straight back after that, we've got India coming out to us in Sri Lanka, even though it, they won't have their best team, but... <laughs> Their second team is as good as quite a few international teams. So the guys have got their work cut out and they know what's ahead of them. But that's the great challenge of playing for your country and and playing against the best in the world. You've got to adapt. And if you don't adapt quickly, you get left behind and, and then you'll get dropped. And then it's it's the next guy coming in. So you've got to be quick on your feet. But But that's international sport and that's what you get paid for. For premium content and exclusive member benefits, subscribe to thepopery.com today.